Starship is the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed by humans, and if tested successfully, is going to change the space industry forever. But why is Starship such a game-changing rocket? In this video, we will explain the major key factors why Starship is so far ahead of other rocket companies who try to reach the Moon, Mars and beyond. First, we're going to give you a short overview about the company behind Starship. SpaceX. Then we explain the different material Starship uses compared to its competitors. The in-house produced Raptor engine the reusability of Starship. The costs, as always, play a major factor in the rocket industry. And in the end, we give you a short conclusion. But now let's start with SpaceX. SpaceX, founded in 2002 by Elon Musk with the aim of reducing spaceflight costs enough to make the colonization of Mars feasible. SpaceX is developing Starship, a fully reusable, privately funded launch system for interplanetary and orbital spaceflight. SpaceX started in 2002 with 30 employees and the development of the Falcon 1. The first rocket ever built by SpaceX. Falcon 1 successfully entered Earth orbit for the first time in September 2008. After that, the development of the Falcon 9 rocket began. In December 2008, a $1.6 billion contract was signed between SpaceX and NASA for 12 supplier transports to the International Space Station. After the development and demonstration flights of the Falcon 9, SpaceX has been carrying out supply flights to the ISS and carrying out satellite launches for customers since 2012. In September 2014, NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.6 billion contract to realise the spacecraft based on the manned Dragon version 2 model, including a demonstration flight with two NASA astronauts. In May 2020, astronauts were brought to the International Space Station for the first time with a Falcon 9 rocket. Their SpaceX Demo 2 mission was the US's first manned spaceflight since the Space Shuttle program. Since then, the Falcon 9 rocket launched many commercial satellites for costumers thousands of Starlink satellites and several crew missions to the International Space Station. Since 2020 SpaceX is focusing on Starship and Super Heavy as the only future Space X rocket platform. This freed up capital and development capacity as there is hardly any effort left for further development of Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy and Dragon. Use of different material. Originally slated to be constructed from state-of-the-art carbon fibre, SpaceX announced that this would be replaced with gleaming 300 series stainless steel. This marks the first use of this material in a rocket since failed attempts in the Atlas Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Program in the 1950s. With Starship intended for interplanetary travel, however, material selection is a significant factor in the success of SpaceX's attempts to reach the fourth planet from the Sun. Stainless steel's high melting point is a major advantage when it comes to space travel. Aluminium or carbon fibre are limited to a steady state operating temperature of 150 degrees Celsius, with short periods operating at around 180 to 200 degrees Celsius but which lead to a weakening of the material. Some carbon fibres can operate continuously at 200 degrees Celsius, but these come with compromises in strength. Steels, with appropriate heat dissipation controls, can perform at temperatures as high as 820 to 870 degrees Celsius. As such, an innovative steel built system will be used for the Starship's heat shield which protects the vessel from the high temperatures experienced during entry into a planet with an atmosphere such as Mars or Earth. The heat shield features two stainless steel layers joined with stringers 
with water flowing between them. The exterior has micro perforations which then allow for water to bleed out, keeping temperatures low through transpiration cooling. Lowering the cost of travel to Mars is crucial to the project's overall success, and here stainless steel vastly outperforms its competitors. Carbon fibre costs $135 per kilogram, and more than a third of the material is scrapped during the production process, meaning the real terms cost is around $200 per kilogram. The equivalent amount of stainless steel will set you back just $3. When launching a vessel out of Earth's atmosphere, every gram must be considered and eliminated where possible. Traditionally, steels would not be considered a lightweight option, but stainless steel's unique attributes actually make it the best choice for keeping weight down. In the cold darkness of space, the temperature sights at a frosty minus 270 degree Celsius. At these cryogenic temperatures, Stainless steel strength is increased by 50%. The chrome nickel content in its makeup means it does not become brittle even at very low temperatures. For an interplanetary rocket, high ductility, high toughness and very little chance of fractures when operating in cryogenic environments makes for the perfect material. These properties mean that less material can be used, lowering the weight and making stainless steel highly viable for space travel. The Starship is designed for repeated use, with SpaceX claiming the vessel can be ready for relaunch just an hour after landing. With this in mind, the company's materials team have been working on a new stainless steel alloy with higher chromium content. This 304L alloy is even more resistant to both corrosion and degradation, making it perfect for the continued reuse planetary colonisation it's clear that while the imagination and skill of SpaceX's engineers and the bravery of the astronaut teams who pilot their creations will be driving this voyage into the stars, it is the enduring power of steel that is making human planet fall on Mars a very real possibility. Raptor engine. SpaceX has developed and manufactured a completely new full flow stage, combustion cycle rocket engine for Starship called Raptor. In November 2012, Elon Musk announced a new direction for the propulsion division of SpaceX, which was towards developing methane fueled rocket engines. He further indicated that the Raptor concept would become a methane based design and that methane would be the fuel of choice for SpaceX plans for Mars colonisation. Because of the presence of water underground and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of Mars, methane, a simple hydrocarbon, can easily be synthesised on Mars using the Sabatier reaction. By August 2016, the first integrated Raptor rocket engine, manufactured at the SpaceX Hawthorne facility in California, was shipped to SpaceX McGregor for development testing. The engine had one meganewton thrust, less than half the thrust of the full-scale Raptor engine used for flight tests in 2019. It is the first full-flow stage combustion methalx engine ever to reach a test stand. One of the main advantages of the Raptor engine, compared to other rocket engines, is the very high thrust to weight ratio of 200. In comparison, the thrust to weight of the engine used on the Moon rocket Saturn V was 83. The in-house manufacturing and development play a crucial role for the success of the Raptor engine. The continued development of the Raptor engine has led to already three different versions of the engine. 33 sea level variant Raptor engines will power the Super Heavy booster while the Starship spacecraft contains six Raptor engines, three optimised for sea level and three optimised for vacuum. Reusability. The goal of the Starship launch system is to be a fully reusable orbital launch and re-entry vehicle. The Starship launch system consists of two stages. A super heavy booster and a Starship spacecraft both have a body made from stainless steel and are designed to hold liquid oxygen and liquid methane. Super heavy 
and then Starship will boost the payload up to orbital speed, after which both of them will land and can be used again. The goal is to use the same Starship spacecraft up to three times in one day. This fully reusability is absolutely unique in the space rocket industry and is one of key advantages of Starship compared to its competitors. Costs. The costs of a Starship launch are very strongly linked to the reusability of the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy booster. For the test flights, SpaceX spends about $2 billion every year. With a fully reusable Starship, these costs will come down to approximately $10 million per flight, which is absolutely astonishing compared to the expected $4.1 billion per launch for NASA Space Launch System. SpaceX is developing and manufacturing almost everything in-house, which makes the production process very cost-efficient. Changes can be made quickly without losing time and money. Conclusion If successful, Starship will change the space industry forever, creating easy access to space for a lot less money. It could make space accessible to researchers who have ideas for potentially groundbreaking experiments, but lack the deep pockets currently needed to get their tech into orbit. Bringing people back to the surface of the Moon would be possible, and even the first person stepping the foot on Mars would be in reach, making humans a multiplanetary species. <laughs>